Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving the D3DX9 underscore 34.dll is missing error on your Windows computer. This could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully go about resolving it without too much of a hassle. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use Google Chrome. And into Google, you want to go just type in D3DX9 underscore 34 dot DLL. And then just type download, hit enter. One of the best matches should come up with a domain that says DLL slash files dot com. You want to go ahead and open that up. This website does have a lot of DLL files. If you watch my channel, I do frequently go to this website if we're looking for missing DLL files. So you want to just scroll down a little bit down this page here, select the option for the 32-bit download, and select the download option. Just note that I selected that download button. I didn't select some weird triangle or rectangle or anything, so I just got the direct link, you saw what I did. Rewatch that part of the video if you need to see again what link I clicked on. Open up the compressed file once it's done downloading. I'm going to just drag the DLL file over to my desktop, so I'm just holding down on it, and then I'm just going to release it over my desktop here. Now you want to go open up the Star menu, type in File Explorer, best match to come back File Explorer, so go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side. Go underneath your local disk where Windows is installed on. It should be indicated with a little Windows icon above the hard drive if you're unsure. So double click on that. Double click on the Windows folder. Scroll down until you find System32. Double click on that. And now you just want to drag and drop this DLL file into the System32 folder. Notice it says move to System32. Don't drop it in one of these folders here. Just make sure you drag it over to the side. And it should say you'll need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder. Make sure it says System32 here and not some other folder. So if you did it wrong, just cancel and then do it the correct way like I'm showing. And then select Continue. Once you know with that, you should be able to run whatever game or application you were having an issue with, and that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.